Alright, Mr. Wheaton, here we go. This is the truth behind why Leor Cohen is leaving 300 and joining YouTube. Oh, man, how many times? I think I've just done this video when we were talking about Leor Cohen situation with Dame Dash. And I was explaining to you the corruption within the music industry and what has happened. Does this spell a great thing for YouTube? YouTube is like the, the company that's trying to transition each year and don't know where exactly where it wants to go. Each year they, they try new things to see if it works. Uh, new cool things. Uh, you know, they got these creator classes where you can pay. To, they want to see which way can they grow every year. And everything they do is basically an experiment that ends up going nowhere. Now, what I mean by it is they get surpassed because Google is known for acquiring other people's work and buying them out. And it looks like, well, Google just created. Google don't create anymore. They just buy other people's things and maintain it. And that person will get a percentage. That's basically what Google does now. So with streaming for music being such a high commodity, that other people are having a hard time trying to keep their music off of YouTube once it's out and the fact that Spotify has Troy Carter and what he does people who used to work in the record business controlling the songs and what's going on over there Apple got Dr. Dre and Jimmy Iovine over there they said, well, we need to get with somebody who has some experience that can help us with our video service. So they hired Leo Cohen. Everywhere Leo Cohen goes, he turns the company and runs it into a ground. And he bounces from place to place, runs through the funds, runs through the money, and once the money starts drying up, he goes somewhere else. <laughs> he finds another ship, but he always leaves a, plants a seed before he goes. 300 is still going to be a company he still owns. Todd is going to be running everything. They haven't made that official yet, but Todd Moscow is just there. You know, he'll still be doing blow and still getting everybody screwed up, and Todd's going to be running everything. So. That's who ran the operation anyway. Leo was just basically there in name. So, global head of music. See, this is how YouTube works. They have a title, they hire somebody, and then you figure out what the job is going to be while you're on it. <laughs> they don't even know what that means. Global head of music on YouTube? So, what is it? He's going to be in charge of what's going to be played on Vivo? It's going to be okay, all the 300 artists is going to be at the top of the playlist now. I mean, all the search engines. No matter what you do, if you're in the music bracket, oh, you got to have something positive say, said about this artist. If you don't, oh, there's a flag. Why? Leroy Cohen didn't like what you said about his hair piece. He wants anything negative about him taken down. What does this do? For anything. You see, but y'all don't understand that this is part of a partnership Google did three years ago. See, they invested into 300 Entertainment. That's why a lot of that music was on YouTube. They put $5 million into the business. <clears throat> so 300 artists 
will be getting a bigger platform to use just like before they just now he's just going to be working more with YouTube and putting his artist music on YouTube and he's controlling it he's going to tell them how to do it how to promote it better so you're going to be seeing a lot of young thug this you got to get better artists that's going to transcend to everybody because the people who buy music and listen to music don't want to hear a lot of garbage they don't care about gimmicks they care about the actual music so that's all it is folks he ran the company down in the ground so they gotta do some thing to re revamp pivot that's that's a part of business pivoting and that's all Leor does is pivot Ty's gonna run the day-to-day -day operations over there he's just going to a new office Somebody who already owns stake in 300. Google. Because that's who he works for. Google. YouTube just is just where he's going to be doing his work. It's your boy Carcino. I'm out. Hope you're happy, Mr. Whedon. I'm done.